Welcome to CET Colors instructional videos on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to walk you through how to replace a headboard. Gather your materials. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 3 16th socket wrench. Power off the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering off the printer. Remove the top cover by using the Phillips head screwdriver and removing the screws one by one. Unplug all the connectors to the headboard, including J1, the 36 volt power supply, J2, the fiber optic cable, J4, the raster reader, J5, the left shutter and fan, J6, the right shutter and fan, J7, the manometer, J8, the height sensor and limit switches, J10, sub-tank float switches, J11, the acknowledgement signal, J12, the 15 volt DC power supply, and the head connect cables, PH2, PH4, PH6. Use the 3 16th socket wrench and unscrew the brass mounting screws. Remove the headboard. Replace with the new headboard. Line up the mounting screw holes and then screw on the brass mounting screws. Now plug in all the connectors to the headboard. Including J1, the 36 volt power supply, J2, the fiber optic cable, J4, the raster reader, J5, the left shutter and fan, J6, the right shutter and fan, J7, the manometer, J8, the height sensor and limit switches, J10, sub-tank float switches, J11, the acknowledgement signal, J12, the 15 volt DC power supply, and the head connect cables, PH2, PH4, PH6. Go to the CET print controller and go to the testing and calibration page. Select the nozzle test from the drop down menu and select your normal operating speed from the carriage speed drop down menu. Run the nozzle test to confirm proper functioning of the headboard.
that's how you replace a headboard on a CET Color Ricoh Gen 5 large format digital UV printer.